Happy Monday Motivation, everybody, and hope you've had a fantastic weekend and really leading up to Christmas and everything is going well. Yes, not that long now when you think about it. So, um, guys, just the same update as last week. Don't forget, we do have the Industry Skills Fund still out there. Uh, if you want a hand with getting an application, I will get that sorted and help you. Um, and a Christmas reminder, just don't forget to be booking in um, uh, Christmas dates. I have done the Black Belt business dates for clients. Um, I am just confirming that. I am back and forth with emails at the moment. Uh, so I was thinking of actually doing a full-on get a Navy SEAL in to train us for two hours. And I thought, no, I better not because my insurance probably wouldn't cover that. Though even though some of you guys would love it. But um, I'm looking forward to sharing with you if uh, what's coming up with our Christmas stuff. So... Let's get stuck into it, guys. Um, cute little picture today. Uh, it's about having your eggs in one basket. And, and this goes down to a whole heap of different areas. This goes down to everything from your marketing, right through down to your financial investments, right down to your systems, to your team, uh, to where you store your data on your computer. Reality is we need redundancy. We need backup options. We need the ability not to store everything in one basket. So if you've got an investment portfolio, you want to make sure it's exposed not just over real estate, for instance. It is also exposed after over the stock market um, and into some other, other types of investments. So, you know... It is dangerous putting your eggs all in one basket, but it is a risk that some people actually do and it pays off for them. You know, you've got to look at your risk profile and see if it's actually well worth it. You know, marketing, another perfect example. Do you Have you only got one form of marketing only and that's what you're expecting to live off? And I know a few of you guys, or especially my clients, have only purely SEO as their marketing and their website leads. You know, what happens if Google changes their parameters? You know, you're going to be left without leads. So do you have many different options when it comes to marketing? You know, and if you've all got website, I, I highly choose a couple of points. Um, I choose always choose a snail mail campaign uh, which is effectively you know sending out letters to prospective uh, prospects and clients and uh, getting out there that way yeah you know, we've got one client who literally got a list of all the businesses in their industrial state that's in that area sent out letters to them or dropped off letters to them because they are local and um, have literally picked up three or four new clients just purely from that one campaign how much did it cost them? A bit of time to drop off some letters. About ooh, $80 US for the list. Um, and then the, the stationery that was actually printed on. Big win. You know, it, it was easy to actually do that. So you've got to have a look at what eggs are all in one basket. And I think it's really important that we actually look at um, everything that you're doing and have are you actually doing, you know, have you got alternatives? What if? And this comes down to your KPIs and looking at your KPIs and then finding out where everything is actually stored. Is everything actually in, for instance, your SEO? Is everything actually there or where are you getting your leads from? So it's really important to have a good spread of that. And it's okay to have, say, 60%, 70% in one area. 30% in the other, as long as we've got the ability to increase that 30% if we had to pretty quickly. So have a look at your investments, have a look at your marketing, have a look at your team. Are you always employing the same type of people? You know, is it time to risk and, and looking at something actually different? You know, what about your fitness? It's no good having just a exercise regime. Do you have an exercise regime that is actually different, looking at all different parts of the body? Do you have a, a diet routine on top? You know, having your eggs all in one basket, yes, there's a risk to it. And yes, sometimes that risk pays off. But on the flip side, I want you to have a look at, hang on, what is it do I need to diversify? You know, if you're just backing up your computer to a hard disk that you leave in your top drawer, well, yo, that's not the best way to do it. You should have a combination of that as well as a cloud backup. This is not keeping your eggs all in one basket. So guys, have a look at everything that you're doing in business. What have you got all in that one basket? And let's see if we can actually diversify that and, and you know, make a difference to your business or your investments by actually diversifying and spreading that risk across the board. 
Oh, well, guys, that's it for me. It was only a really quick one today. Um, you go and have a great week ahead, and if you need anything, you know where I am. I'm happy to chat. Uh, go and have a great Monday, guys. Talk to you soon.